UGD coming at you with the cold M16A1 build. Yeah, guys, it was in a box when I got it, and now it is put together. It took two months to get it out of the gunsmith. Let me give you a rundown of the semi-auto hot rod. Overall length, 38 and 3 quarter inches. You've got a 20-inch barrel with a 1 and 12 twitch, which is correct for the A1s. Capacity, you can go from 5 rounds to 120. Weight, 7 and a half pounds is what this thing's coming in on my scale. Yeah, that's a heavy, heavy gun. Fit on it. We went with an Anderson lower. Yep, Anderson lower, and the fit came out excellent. Yeah, I was real happy with the fit. It feels snug. Doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. The finish on it, guys. Oh, that game used goodness. Look at that upper receiver. It is just wore out. Check out that buttstock. Oh, that gloriousness back there. The, oh, the grip. Everything's just right on that. And then you look at the receiver. That is way too new. Look at this right here. I love this. <laughs> A little bit of rust on that hot rod. <laughs> I can't beat that. Now, it came with brand new Bushnell retro handguards. So, yep, brand new. Also, a brand new barrel. So, I had to have that barrel put on. Uh, the front sight, you got these little pins in here, and there's got to be kind of a drilled uh, part of the barrel to guide in there. And that's why I took it to the gunsmith, let him handle that. And then he hit me at about a hundred and a quarter to put the whole thing together. I thought, yeah, that's just worth that right there. So I didn't learn how to put an M16 together. The A1 sights. Yeah, I got a rear peep here. It, it, guys, forgive me. This is tough to do on work bit. You got the rear peep. Clip it down for 300 yards. And then I put a little UGD lemon on that front sight. Yeah, everything is just awesome on this thing. The action feels really good on it. Everything seems to be working right. The Anderson lower, yeah, it just looks horrible on here. <laughs> if this thing runs, I, you know, this is probably a gun worth keeping and trying to find a good Colt lower, find some period correct game used handguards for this thing. It, it, it just has all that patina to it. So guys, there's your first look at something that I am so excited to get to the range. Hey, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you thought I've lost my cotton pick in mind, you just need to go buy me a Spikes AR. Hit the thumbs down and please subscribe. Yeehaw!